Right, Marco. Firstly, thank you ever so much for taking some time out to have a quick chat with me about your winning entry. So you won the Events Award for 2023, but also the overall BCS Award. So I've got a few questions for you. Um, feel free to, to answer them if, if you don't want to. That's fine as well. Okay, so first up, what gave you the idea to create your map Ribbon Mekong? Well, I, I begin with thanking you as well and the judges who awarded me this map. Uh, it was, it's been a long, long uh, journey to this. I think the originally I got the idea of creating this map maybe four or five years ago when I first saw this fantastic 19th century river length comparison illustrations. And then later on when I when I saw the um, the father of waters map of the Mississippi uh, River for riverboat captains. And by that time I had already started my work in the Mekong and the Mekong hydrology. And I was thinking that it would be nice to sometime uh, create something similar of, of the Mekong River. And yeah, finally, I got around to do it after several years of, of, of thinking about it. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, there are some impressive things in the past that, that give people uh, ideas for what they can do in the future. Did you learn something new while you were making the map? Many things, actually. Not only of cartography, and I think I had to learn quite a new, many new techniques in cartography and in graphical design while, while doing this. Um, uh, I was, I think it took me almost half a year or almost a year to, to actually finalize the map as it is when, when I submitted it. And um, along the way, I had to learn about typography in, in maps and uh, illustrator or uh, vector graphics pro programs, how to how to do things the way I want, and sometimes even how to do things in QGIS. And also professionally, I mean, I, I've been working with the Mekong River since 2013, when I had my, my first uh, project in the area. And I think il illustrating or creating this, this map really got me a fresh new perspective to the river, yeah. For instance, where where the um, floodplain floodplains are in the in the tributaries, like in the in the middle reaches of the Mekong, the Mekong itself doesn't really have floodplains, but they are in the tributaries, yeah. and it is, I think, fantastically uh, illustrated in this kind of uh, this river map that I made. Yeah. It certainly went down well at the conference, uh, and people were amazed and and just drawn to it. Yeah, certainly is a stunning piece. Um, what was the most difficult thing you encountered during the creation process? Well, definitely uh, creating the the DEM or the hill shading and the relative elevation model, because that that includes. Uh, because the river is straightened uh, from the or original course, yep. which means that if I wanted to do the hill shading, I had to also uh, rotate and move around the elevation model as well. And because of the rotations, they don't nicely line up uh, with the previous segments where where I've done the cutting. So it was, I think it, I spent several months thinking and finally creating the scripts that I could get at least somewhat natural look to the to the locations where the river has been cut and rotated. Yeah. So I think that was definitely the most most difficult thing, um, at least technically. Then of course the visualization part is is always always a challenge and never never really finished, I think. Yeah, the, the, it, it, it did go down really well. Um, I mean, it is such a beautiful piece of work. So congratulations on that. Um, it's uh, 
like I say, it, printing it was a challenge as well because I did decide for the conference that I really wanted to try and print it out. So I had the uh, fortunate enough because I, I work at OS, I was able to to utilize uh, the printer there. And uh, yeah, it, when it came out, I thought I was blown away. Uh, so it was yeah, amazing piece of work. Um, how did you discover about uh, the BCS awards? I think I first learned about it a few years ago through Twitter, seeing some, following some cartographers in, in Twitter and seeing posts about uh, about the awards. Yeah. And then last spring, when I was finalizing the first version of the map without the elevation model or hill, hill shading, I was thinking that it 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 it's a kind of a new or revitalized look at these kind of river maps or modernized let's say yeah and then i was looking looking around if there's any any kind of competitions or or um, places where i could actually showcase it somehow and that's how i came across the pcs awards again and was happy to learn that it's an open open international call so oh so yeah no, definitely that's great. submitted and i'm happy i did submit yeah we are happy you did too yeah no it was uh the judging panel were were really impressed with it and uh yeah and in fact all the people who attended the conference at um this year's conference that we we held at the british Antart antarctic survey uh we had it laid out on a big table. Uh, I'll share some photographs with you um, for that as well, so you've got um, an idea of, of of how it looked. And that, so that's really really good. So thank you again, and uh, look forward to hopefully seeing some of other of your creations in uh, future awards entries. I I also look forward to submitting some. I already have some other ribbon map ideas, perhaps not as long or um, ambitious as as this map was but but nonetheless interesting looks at for instance bicycle rides all oh, right and and other other kind of river comparison maps which i i really drew my um, inspiration from yeah no i can i can uh, i can see the fascination with the, with the subject uh, yeah it certainly is amazing so it's it's challenging to to actually share it and and give it and do it justice on on the um on the website and things but um one of my colleagues at OS has has uh, created a uh, a gallery an online gallery and uh, the only way you can actually get it to fit was that he actually had to curl it around a bit so I'll share the link to you as well you can have a look um to see how how he overcame the challenge because it was you know it is it's a very long piece but uh no stunning stunning so that's brilliant thank you any thank you. any other messages uh, uh for the people out there about your your work um i mean are you happy sure. for people uh, to contact you if they have yes. similar challenges Yes, yes, absolutely. And I'm actually also planning to do uh, creating a short tutorial oh, brilliant. on how to how to actually do this kind of um, re let's say ribbonizing yeah. uh, linear linear features or even if if someone's in interested in doing something similar. That would be amazing. Perhaps. Yeah. Maybe maybe we can get you involved uh, in some of our tea time talks in the future if you'd be up for it. Obviously, the time difference makes it a bit more difficult for you because uh, we we tend to have them. Uh, well, there, there used to be tea time around five o'clock, but we decided to shift them to about seven o'clock now, which would be very late for you <laughs> in Finland. But no, thank you, yes. thank you yeah. for your time today. Yeah, thank you very much. Look forward to. Um, contacting you again or Brilliant. keeping in touch. Thanks ever so Thank much. You. Okay. you take care. We'll speak soon.